Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your host, Angel Reader Lorraine, and I am here, guys, to conduct your evening reading for the collective. Guys, before I get stuck into the reading, I'd just like to say thank you so much to the new subscribers. Thanks so much for, you know, clicking that subscribe button. Um, also, please note that this is general it's non-gender specific it's not really about the star sign but it is always about your energy that you are emitting into the world okay um please note as well that it's timeless and also do take what resonates with you if there's anything that you feel you can resonate with in the reading at any part of the reading that's great that's fine if there's nothing else don't worry about it all right so let's just get stuck in hmm Somebody is growing on you. That's something to grow on you. Um, there's also a feeling um, as well of someone like somebody's thinking of you a lot. Somebody's thinking of you. So there's some there's a group of people that has somebody really thinking about them a lot. Then there's another set of you guys that, that somebody's growing on you. All right, so that's that's just kind of like the vibe that I'm picking up here. So let's start off with the cartomancy. All right, I'm going to give this a good shuffle. All okay. right, so spirit, without further ado, we're going to get stuck into this reading. What is going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? Please, going to get a card. I feel that whoever this is that is growing on the ones, the group of people that I'm talking about, um, communication is going to be exchanged. Uh, it's coming soon. It's really coming soon. But I feel there's a hesitancy. Okay, I do feel there's a hesitancy. Uh, yeah, this this really does feel that there's something that is sort of like blocking this 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 communication so the next card is right um the reason why there's a block is because you're doing a bit of a cleansing you are cleansing up your situation okay so you're getting rid of people places and things um but at the same time i feel that you're going to be a little bit preoccupied because you're not really going to pay attention to this letter that's coming in your head is you're more focused on sorting out your immediate area your immediate environment is the one that you're focusing on at the moment okay i feel that there is also an ending because you've got card 27 okay and you've got card 17 so there's a 10 10 numbers like 10 difference basically um between 27 and 17 okay um i feel that it's more on this person's side no, it's on both your sides. Because you're putting an end to certain things. Like, if you can see with the stalk that's got the frog, okay? Um, it's just literally about just cleansing out your um, yourself. You could even be doing a detox as well. But the frog is always represented as, um, you know, cleansing, okay? Detoxing, um, setting negative energies from your life, okay? Um, with this card, this card th that you're getting, I feel it's a, well, it could be a card or some kind of letter, uh, but I feel it's more in the form of an email um, or a text message rather than it being handwritten. Um, reason being is because it's instantaneous. They want you, they need you, they need your, they want your attention, but you're, you're, you're too preoccupied. All right? You're too preoccupied. I'm going to pull... Uh, from the uh, the angels and ancestors oracle cards. Let's see what's going on here. So we've got the magic guardian. Already these two cards fell out. Um, we've got the magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. And I've also got the water guardian. Um, which is connect with your emotions. So I do feel that this is really what's going on with you, which is why you are not really focused so much on this 
this this message that's coming through. You do have um you've got the power to manifest anything that you want. But I feel that right now what's happening with you is that you are really kind of you know, you're in this energy of I don't want to make the same mistake again. I'm looking for my ace of pentacles. I'm looking for something that's grounded. I'm trying to work with what I've got in order to achieve what I want. Okay? So I really do see this, guys, as you're just preoccupied. Some of you guys are learning how to um, conjure magic. But now, when I say magic, I don't mean, you know, obviously the way I have it spelt here. Um, not dark magic, but this is to do with protection, um, most likely. And also, in order, in you know, with regards to trying to obtain abundance as well. Some of you could be, you know, getting into the occult, trying to understand magic, um, looking for a way of just trying to improve your situation. That's all, you know. You're just trying to get get ahead, get make sure that you've got, you know, something that's just comfortable. Okay, so let's get stuck into the tower, guys. Let's see what's happening with this message right so first and foremost i'm gonna put, i'm gonna just do the spread a bit different a bit different guys Yeah, okay. Now, the bottom of the deck is the death card. This is you, okay? Could be a Scorpio that I'm dealing with, Water Guardian, okay? Um, which is here. And the death card is Water Sign Scorpio, okay? Or it could be Cancer, Pisces, or any other star sign, all right? Um, but the thing is, you're going through your transformation. Sorry about that, guys. Um... You're going through your transformation right now. You've got a lot of swords energy, right? You've got the knight, you've got the ten of swords in reverse. You've got the two of wands in reverse. You've got the knight of swords upright. You've got the eight of swords upright. You've got the four of swords in reverse. And you've got the six of cups in reverse. So what I see here is <laughs> seriously someone which I believe is you you got yourself a uh, ah sorry you got yourself out of a situation that was causing you a lot of heartache from some from somebody that you know okay it's somebody that you know um you look the thing is you knew deep down inside it didn't make no sense to stay stuck it really didn't. Because if you were staying stuck in a situation where you were waiting for somebody, I don't believe that person was ready. I think that what you needed to do by shifting yourself out of the way and moving on, you cut that energy off. Yes, it does feel like a twin frame energy reading um, because this is what happens or summit reading when you sort of like, the divine feminine would sort of like start to break away and detach herself from the divine masculine. Um, I'm not sensing twin flame energy, to be honest. Um, this could be past soulmate. I don't feel it's twin flame. I I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not seeing it that way at all. I'm just seeing somebody who was tired of waiting for somebody, um, tired of being stuck, and they just decided to move on. Okay, but what's happening here is that I feel that this is because of the lockdown. Somebody's trying to get in touch with you. Okay. I'm going to do some clarifications. What's the Ten of Swords about, please, Spirit? What, why is the Ten of Swords here? So somebody's, you know, coming out of the trail, coming out of a very abrupt ending. I feel that what happened here really didn't, it not didn't surprise you, it shocked you. And I, I, I don't feel that you knew that this was coming. Okay. So we've got, yeah, there were struggles and you've also got the Ten of Cups in reverse. 
You wasn't expecting that. Your happiness, your world just turned upside down because of this struggle. I do feel that this was them. Um, and this left you now to make a decision, okay? Um, you, was, you was really hesitant. It was a, a, a situation of like, where do I go? What do I do? Um, I still feel this energy of being trapped, um, attached to this person, but I'm trying to see if I can make things work out. But in the end, it was like, no, you need to... You need to you need to, to just come out from it as I said. Um Yeah, you started to you started to look elsewhere, you started to focus more on yourself. You got the two of ones in reverse, you've got the three of ones upright. So this to me really felt that this was you starting to make your moves. And you did it with purpose. So the Knight of Swords Can you see? So you've got the Three of Swords in reverse, you've got the Seven of Wands, and you've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel that you're just blocking this person. You're blocking them. Um, for others, I, I, as I said, I sense that there's somebody else that's growing on you. Um, and there's some, another set of you that, you know, somebody's really thinking about you a lot. That You know, they're wondering what you're doing, but um, you're doing really great. This is you and your inner peace, okay? You do not need anybody to be... Because this is part of your transformation. With the death card and the seven of wands, you need to protect... You're protecting your energies. You're protecting your vibes, okay? And I feel that you're using the guard, the magic guardian and the water guardian card um, to help you along with your emotions. This person really upset you so much to the point of where you didn't even know what to do with yourself. Um, you were stuck for a long time because you was trying to see if things would have worked out between the two. But you know what? Common sense was trying to prevail here and say, "Hun, you need to leave, okay? You seriously need to leave. So with the Eight of Swords, you've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. You, Kate, you just moved the hell on, okay? You moved the hell on. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. And you started to improve yourself. You started to improve yourself. When you was broken down... That person really hurt you a lot. And I don't think they... they it's like they overlooked you. Um, with the uh, Four of Swords, you came out from this vibe. And you started to work on yourself. You could have been losing weight. Um, you know, going on to some kind of diet regime or something like that. And started to exercise more and start to become more healthy within yourself. The Four of Swords energy, you've, you've released. Um, the Six of Cups is the fact that you are still going over certain things that, you know, that as I'm feeling with this, with this stalk card, um, it really feels to me that you are trying your best just to sort of move on, get on, and put the past behind you, all right? Um, but also with this card, it represents that somebody from your past is coming back as well. So, um like they're thinking of you like right now. They, they want to reach out. The six of cups. What is this energy about? Why is it here? Look at that. You've got the lovers. Major kind of the lovers. Mm -hmm. These two cards fell and I'm going to take them. The Empress card and the Five of Pentacles. What they see, you, you're no longer residing with them. You started to... Because you've... How can I say this? Okay, it's like they are looking at you from a different angle, from a different view, okay, um, and also in the fact as well that they rejected this, in the past, they saw you was, um, you know, struggling to get by and to better yourself, but also they were doing other things as well, which caused a lot of heartbreak and disappointment, so what this did, you then had to change yourself up to start investing it in yourself, okay, um, and to come out from that energy, now that they have been rejected, because this is rejection, okay, this is really a rejection. The bottom of the deck is the King of Swords, so you've got some counterpart energy. This person is your soulmate. Um, hmm. I mean, you've got the Queen of Swords here and the King of Swords, but I feel that you was in the Queen of Swords energy to get yourself away from this person and then transform yourself into the Queen of Wands, okay? So you're becoming more hot, sexy, sassy, you know, really and truly just beautiful energy, just getting on with yourself and 
getting on with your life and meeting new people, making new friends as well. Um, you're just shining. But I feel that now this, this person wants to come back in, okay? Um, I'm quite curious as to find out why. I'm just going to use... I'm going to use the goddess. No, do you know what? I'm going to use this. My little uh, mini tarot deck. A minute. I don't know why they're coming back. What, what's, what's their angle? Because the thing is, you're not even noticing. For uh, some of you, you've you've just lit literally written this person off. Okay? So let's have a look and see. Spirit, what can you tell me about card 27? Why is it here? Why is card 27 here? Yeah, temperance. So there was a feeling of... So guys, so there was a feeling of um, the fact that there was healing that had been done here. Um, it was a very slow process, but also they wanted to hurry things up as well. But this was definitely an energy of the fact that at the end of the day, um, you know, they, they were also healing. They were also hurting. It's as if you both hurt each other. You know, there was this kind of like equal sort of like energy of, of empowerment. Um, this actually could have caused a bit of an issue as well with this ego as well. Um, where neither of you wanted to back down from the, from the argument, you know. So let's look at the 17 card and see what's happening with you. Because you're so focused on just doing you right now. This is the thing. You're not going to expect this message. It's when you least expect it, they're going to come and, and, and drop something on your lap. So, oh, you've got the Emperor, you've got the Eight of Cups, and you've got the Lovers. You've got the Emperor, you've got the Eight of Cups, and you've got the Lovers. You walked away from this energy. You walked away. You're empowering yourself. You're bettering yourself. This is what this is telling me, you know? Um, you really didn't want nothing to do with them. I feel with this King of Swords, I feel it's also, um, because this, I mean, I just, sometimes you think, to yourself, well, why are they bothering to come back for? But the thing is, there's some kind of real strict, st um, strong bond between the two of you. Um, but then at the same time, you're both kind of like mirroring each other with regards to the way how you are, you know, the, the, the vibes. Uh, let's just, let me just asks about the king of swords the tower so things really was a disaster and 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 really as well with the king of swords um it kind of cut things away uh cut just cut things down and uh i do feel because you're in the reverse i feel there was a blazing row things were going straight um with the queen of swords Seven of Swords. Mm. Um, as I said, there was betrayal. And that's not going to sit well with the Queen of Swords. That doesn't sit well with them at all. And I feel that the chances were... You, you had the, the person had the chances that were given. Um, when, they know, when there are no more chances, the Queen of Swords gets their swords out and just cuts off the amputation. Sorry, cuts off the connection. Okay? So let's pull now for the Wisdom of the Oracle to finish off this reading. What kind of messages that we're getting? Let's do this properly. We've got regeneration. So they're coming back to try again. They're coming back to, to want to reconcile. It's definitely reconciliation. I told you they're looking to mend. You're, the person who you were dealing with is coming back. They're coming back. Okay, and the thing is, this is a never ending story. I'm gonna pull one more. It's a never ending story. You've got two things going on here you're going the distance in the tribe, you, you're doing you. I feel that this is you right now. You've got to go the distance, and you've got the tribe. You're getting on with things, and this person can't get over you. They can't, they can't get over the fact that you are no longer together. I'm gonna to pull from the top. Scott, breathe. You're doing you, you're just doing amazing. You are just 
in enhancing your wisdom, your vibes. This is you. This is what you're doing. And I do believe that you want to be in this energetic, beautiful place where your energies, your emotions... Um, and your intentions are level, your vibrations are high, you are definitely on the, the way up. Um, and I do feel that this is definitely coming from the water garden as well. Connect with your emotions. And it's a beautiful kind of flow of this, this energy. It's just so gorgeous, you know. Um, and it's as if, like, it's, it's you, but it's, like, different variations of you as well. Like, how you see yourself in the next... 10, 15, 25, 30 years, or this could be you reflecting back around the time of when you was much younger, but, you know, for some of you guys, um, but this really feels like this is an all-rounder protection as well from this water guardian. So this is what you're doing. You're just getting, you're just getting on with your life. This person who's coming back, they want to connect with you again. They want to reconnect because I feel that they, they know that you, who you are to them now. Um, and they, they, they're valuing your worth. So you, you are, you know, you need to decide on whether or not you're going to want to talk to them. But I just feel, to be honest, I feel that you've moved on because you've got the emperor energy. You've got the emperor energy. And remember, they were seeing you as the empress as well. The empress right here. Okay. So that's what I said. It was like definitely, um, you know, it's either they were you know, late in blooming, wait in late in awakening, both the emperor and the empress energy. Um, I feel that, you know, you're just getting on with life. You're just flowing beautifully. So, yeah, this is what I've got, guys. Hope you like it. Please don't forget to give me a big, big fat thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so that you can be informed by your moments of actually uploaded new content for you guys. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much. And I will be back with another reading. Take care.